The 38th Space Symposium is about to kick off in Colorado Springs. The annual event is starting as uncertainty looms about the future location of Space Command. Here to News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live from the Broadmoor, where the location of Space Command will be a key discussion point. Scott? Yeah, guys, first off, we want to give you kind of a look at what's going on here right now. We're about two hours away on this first official day of the Space Symposium from what's the big attraction, and that's basically the exhibit hall. We're told there are around 300 exhibits here from private contractors and whatnot showing off the latest in technology that's related to space. And we're showing you only the exhibits that have been finished. There's a lot that still hasn't been finished yet, and they got to scramble to get those ready by 7.30, the opening time. Now, it's been almost two years since former President Donald Trump announced that he was permanently moving Space Command from Colorado Springs to Huntsville, Alabama. And everyone, including military and government insiders attending this event, are waiting to learn the final decision on where it will go. Remember we told you back in December that the head of Space Command expected a decision by the first of the year. That didn't happen. Two government reports found that the selection process was fair and proper. Here at the symposium on Wednesday, we may get an update from the man who will make the final decision. Space Foundation, like everyone else, we're awaiting the decision. You know, we're really looking forward to hearing from U.S. Secretary of Air Force uh, Frank Kendall um, at Space Symposium. Uh, we're thinking we might hear uh, more from about Space C Command in, in that press briefing. Now, after two straight years of res after two straight years of rescheduling and scaling down the symposium at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, this is the second year in a row with record attendance. 11,000 last year and 14,000 this year, another record. And nearly 50 countries participating, and we've told you about the record number of exhibits that are gonna be opened up here in just a little while. Coming up at six, we're going to tell you what's new and exciting at this year's event, and also not just industry experts are benefiting from it. We'll tell you who else is. We're live at the Broadmoor for the Space Symposium. Scott Harrison, KRDO, News Channel 13.